So in this video, we're going to be continuing with the same question that we looked at in the previous video, but this time using a critical region method. So I've saved everything that we had previously. So here is your question, okay? And we went through, let me be the population mean lifetime of the light bulbs, the null alternative hypotheses. We set up the sample means distribution, and then we've got our conclusion. Now I've rubbed off the p-value method um, that I had previously, just so we can see what is the mathsy bit that we need to do uh, for the critical region method. So we need to find the critical region. Okay. Now, the reason why I'm writing down critical region is x bar is less than. I know it's going to be less than a certain value because visually, here is our normal distribution, or my attempt at one anyway. It has a mean of 2,000. And what I'm trying to find is this value here. This is the critical value, so that this area is 5%. Okay? So in order to do that, I need to go onto my calculator and use the inverse normal feature. So I'm going to go to menu um, on my calculator, it's number seven. Um, I'm going to number three, inverse normal. And I'm going to put the area in as 5%. So 0 0.05. Sigma is the square root of 25 squared over 100, which is just 25 over 10, isn't it? So 2.5. So 2.5 goes in there. And the mean is 2,000. So the result I get is 1,995.887, so let's say 0.9. Okay, so that's that value there, 1,995.9. Now, the sample mean that we got in the question was 1,996. So this is 1995.9, and this is 1996. So it's not in the critical region. This is the critical region. So 1996 is greater than 1995.9. So it is not in the critical region. So the result is not significant. So we fail to reject H0. There is insufficient evidence to suggest that the population mean lifetime of the light bulbs is less than 2,000 hours. Same conclusion, just a different way of getting to that result. So that is how you do the critical region method in this example.